Hey, welcome to Roddy Bro Gamer channel. Today I'm going to show in this video how to make your HyperX Quadcast mic USB sounds like Pro on OBS Studio. All right, so the microphone that I am using is the HyperX Quadcast UBS uh condenser microphone uh the microphone already come with a great sound uh, uh by standard and uh highly recommended if you don't have it to actually acquire is uh today i think is uh as this video i mean uh, recording uh and posting um it is around 139 dollars and uh this model right here which is 139 dollars only red but there's also a new one which is just the color change, a change here as a RGB for $159. The quality is basically the same. And uh, I'm going to use this microphone for to show you later on the tutorial without the plugins. So you can have an idea how uh, the standard microphone is, sounds. And then uh, we add in the plugins with all the settings that I have. So, and uh, the plugins, uh, talking about plugins, the plugins, for, in my opinion, is one of the best plugins that you can have in OBS for a microphone. You can use for this microphone or any other microphone as well if you want to test the other microphones as well. Uh, you're going to have to download. I will show where to download as well. But the plugins that you're going to need is the TDR Nova, uh, TDR Kotelnikov, uh, TDR um, VOS uh, Sleek EQ and uh, wider. I'm going to show in the tutorial real quick and also just how my settings are. You can copy my settings as well. So you can actually look and see the difference that actually will make in your microphone and sound on your stream. Also, at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to throw some kind of uh, extra um, um, tweak to your music background. Uh, if you use any music background for your stream, I'm going to show my settings that actually level perfectly fine in the background from your stream. So you don't have to touch on that level of volume for your, for your viewers, but you can tweak for you as low as, as you want. So let's jump to the tutorial. All right, so we are here on our OBS Studio, but before we go into the OBS Studio, let's go and download the plugins. Uh, you're going to go to the site uh, Tokyo, www.tokyo.net. Uh, I'm going to put the link in below as well for the uh, sites that you need to do and the, the download the, the plugins. Um, once you're on this site right here, uh, scroll down and you're going to see uh, Nova, TDR Nova. Uh, remember that you're not taking the Nova GE because it's, uh, you pay for that. You're going to download for free. All those plugins are for free. So TDR Nova right here, download this one. TDR uh, Kotelnikov right here, download this one as well. Uh, and then uh, TDR VOS SleeQ right here. Uh, the, the free download. Uh, those in these sites, the some are there are pay that you can pay. It is more advanced, but those that are free absolutely work perfectly. That's the one I'm using as well. And the sound that you see that you hear right now is with no plugin. I turn all the plugins already from this mic. So this mic that you can hear, you probably can hear some background uh, noise, uh, maybe uh you know but i took all the compression everything this is just the way the microphone comes okay so the other side is gonna be uh polyversemusic.com and this is the other uh plugin that you need to download it's a com it's completely free as well you call wider uh you see what that does it kind of give you what and the range of your voice like and look a wider like uh, it's pretty cool you see it uh so download this as well and after you download we go back to obs studio and uh, restart the machine download there's nothing no, no mystery to download just after you download that though those plugins to your computer what you're going to do you're going to go to your uh, microphone. As you can see right now, if I stop talking, you're still getting some background because I take all the the, the filter from the from the my microphone. 
so if you see right here uh, I took everything out but forget about this part right here compressor noise everything uh, on is leak Q right here up I always leave it off because I was messing around, so don't worry about it. So you're not gonna uh, want to know anything about this. That's no, that's fine. So we're gonna work down here from sleek queue down to expander. Uh, the last option right here, if you don't know, you can also use uh, when you uh, when you add a filter, a uh, dedicated NEDI output for this for any audio that you have. Uh, if you uh, if you know the NEDI, if you're familiar with the NEDI, you can basically send the audio through e internet to your another computer or to some some other device. So I uh, use this sometimes, but I'm not as right now. But I leave it on anyway. It doesn't gonna affect the audio anyhow. So for the, for the beginning, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, when you download the plugins, I open. It's gonna be basically empty. This part. You're just gonna click plus and you're gonna go to VST 2 2x plugin okay uh, you just click OK and then you what you're gonna do you're gonna go to uh, to search the plugins if you style install correctly you're gonna see TDR Kotelnikov TDR Nova TDR VOS is Lee Q and wider right there okay so I, since I already installed, I'm gonna go one by one real quick, so you can actually get, um, so you can actually just set up the way I set up, and then you kind of go ahead and uh, uh, tweak as your voice. Yes, any any type of voice is different. My voice is different than yours, and it's gonna be different than a lot of people. So you can tweak as like uh, just use mine as a template, like uh, uh, what I want, what I mean. Just use it as a template and see how it sounds, and then you tweak a little bit. But this, the the way that I this being uh, set up is very um, it's very good so far for me. But it should be probably good for you too. We just slide different all the voice. So, um, so I'm gonna just delete this because I already have it. So there's no point to have it. So first thing, when you select Sleek Q in yours, you're gonna have a say, open plug interface. So you're gonna open the the interface, and you're actually gonna see that's uh, different uh, modes right here: German, Soviet, American, British. Uh, just leave in a so uh, in a German. Uh, that's the one I'm using. You can mess around if you want to to choose a different one, but German look like is more uh, is 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 more like uh, an emitter ground for a lot of voices. Um, you can use that one now. All the settings that I have here, okay. I want you to pay close attention. I'm not going into much details in this tutorial. I wanted to you to show you so you can just copy the settings that I have and uh, see if it improves your microphone. It should be improved pretty much um, pretty much good in your microphone. Use the HyperX Quadcast or another microphone, but I'm using the HyperX Quadcast because that's the one I'm showing you right now. So the plugins right now, I'm showing, uh, I'm showing the settings, the frequency 400, the gain is minus 4.5 decibels right here. Uh, just copy exactly the way it is in this um, Sleek Q equalizer right there, and uh, go ahead. And uh, when you after you've done this, you just turn on, and uh, you see the difference. Now I'm gonna turn on my, and that's the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference, if you can hear, because right now I, I, I'm not hearing myself. But this is actually um, with the with the Sleek EQ just that then you go to the next one which is a uh, noise suppression now this one is not a plugin but I want you to uh, put exactly uh, in this order it's been working for me because sometimes you when you put in a different word it could give you a different feed a different feel or a different audio so this order that I put it exactly works perfectly so the next one you're gonna put a noise suppression. We, you, the plugin for noise suppression is already in OBS. You just click right here, uh, noise suppression, um, and just copy these settings right here. Suppression minus 10 decibels right here. I'm using SpeedX lower CPU usage because you know use less CPU in my machine. Uh, but you, if you want a high quality, you can use the down one. But I don't see any much difference in my case. Uh, so I'm gonna 
click in noise suppression and you're gonna see now that it's a little bit more suppression if I stay quiet a little bit it's just a little bit okay so this is good so we go to the next one which is Nova TDR Nova I'm gonna open the plugin and you see that this is basically a uh, it, it actually you're gonna equalize your lows and your highs and your voice so here what you're going to do you're going to uh it's gonna be a it's gonna be one two three and four enable right here okay when you got this first first uh what you're gonna do you're gonna go um just enable the first and the uh the first and the fourth you're gonna uh, turn off the middle ones and the first you're gonna copy just exactly the way it is the gain uh actually the trash hole right the way it is right here like say like i say this part it's gonna be depending on your voice, but it start from this point the way I set up, so you can go ahead and tweak it that way. Uh, and then you after you um, after you copy the way this is the the values over here on this part, just go ahead and copy over here as well the value right here. Uh, make sure this right here is an echo because you I uh, think it over here is set as i don't know what it sets for when i got it but just make sure it's an echo right there like the way it is right here and for this plugin that's it that's all you need to do it so when i close that and i turn on that's the difference of the plugin i don't know if you can hear me but that's how it sounds right now with the nova plugin now we're going to jump to the Kotelnikov. It's another compression as well. So Kotelnikov, we're going to, when you got this, just go ahead and uh, click. Um, and you're going to see this setup right here as well. So in this same case, just go ahead and uh, uh, copy all the settings that I have on my right here. Uh, just make sure uh, all the channels just look like the same. Echo right there the values of the release, the attack, those things you can play around, but for a start, just put those sets and just go as you need it, okay? So this is another form of compression that actually uh, helps to, uh, you know, don't get too high and also eliminate the background as well. So when you click that, that's with a compression Kotelnikov. Um, after that, you're gonna have the wider. The wider is something that is making the difference if depending how you're going to use it, but uh, wider. So you go in here, choose the wider, and open the wider. No, it's very simple. It, that's it. This is what it is. So the wider does exactly like this. If you click, you're gonna see. I use a 25. Usually 25 is a good start, but you can use as much percent as you want. So in the wider, you're gonna if you see it like that see how my uh, voice look like now you can hear there's a little bit wider like this and this is 140 percent but i'm gonna put on the 25 for me that's what it works uh, you can also play with that great 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 plugin it gives you a little bit more kind of stereo dynamic on your voice which is pretty cool so and uh with the wider, that's what it look like. And I'm gonna show again because it was off. So just like that, wider. See how it looks? It's a little bit wider. It's a very, very, uh, it's more like a uh, effect of your voice, but I'm gonna put on the 25. That's what I use it. Start from there and then uh, select the way you want that. And the last one is gonna be the expander. Expander is basically, um, is right here on OBS. It's a plugin already on OBS. Just copy those uh, those settings right here. Ratio three, uh, three, three to one. The threshold I'm putting minus thirty two decibels. The attack I'm using eight millimeters, uh, milliseconds. I'm sorry, eight milliseconds. <laughs> and release uh, two hundred fifty three, and out gain uh, basically zero. And the detection I'm leaving as RMS okay so just copy those and this is basically the whole the whole time the whole thing right here for your plugin so this is all the plugins on if I turn off this is 
all the plugins off, just raw microphone, the way it sounds, and with uh, and everything on now. This is with everything on it. Um, hopefully you can see the difference. And uh, I see the difference a lot in my stream when I actually put this or the way I was using, um, and it helps me a lot. So, and, uh, so this is all the plugins that you need in is really make your microphone. I'm sure it will make much better, uh, than it already is now. The other thing that I want to show you as well, real quick is for your music. Uh, if you have any background music on your stream, you can actually um, go ahead. Uh, I have here my as a my music groove. <laughs> so what I do is uh, this um, this uh, device that I capture my music is on a voice meter, and uh, voice meter right here. Uh, you can see that I use Spotify as my voice meter. So this is my volume on voice meter. If you do have voice meter, you can use this volume right here and you'll hear the way you want. Okay. You can put as loud as you want. But when you put on OBS, when you put on OBS and you go to uh, filters, okay. Uh, copy those uh, settings that I have. The gain minus 12. The compressor right here. That's the way I set up my compressor on the uh, music. This is for your music background. Okay. The side change is the name I put it. Okay. But the side change is the same thing over the compressor. I just named side change uh, because this right here is going to lower your music every time you speak. So your music is not going to pass your voice. So if you notice right here, copy those settings and over here, you can see that I choose my microphone, but you can choose anything. Okay. You can choose anything uh, to your music lower when you, uh, when that device is on. So in my case, I leave the HyperX QuietCast because when I'm speaking, I want that my music background does not suppress, suppress my voice on, uh, when I'm speaking on the stream. So copy those settings, then you copy the, that volume right here, minus 10.40, copy that limiter, because that limiter is important as well. And that's it. This one here, don't worry about it, but just copy those settings and put it in those orders. So game first, compressor, then another compressor that you're going to uh, name sidechain with your microphone that you use it right here. You're going to choose your source, your microphone. You're going to see if you have it connected to your OBS and then your volume right here. So you can get a little bit more, uh, less volume and then limiter right here as well. So when you finish that, uh, you should have uh, your volume right here all the way to the max. All right. So those are the plugins that I think that one of the best plugins on OBS that improve your microphone. Uh, as I say, I'm using the quadcast today for that, for those plugins to show you. Also, if those uh, plugins improve your microphone after you watch this video, just go ahead and pull your comment below. And also, if you are not subscribed on the channel and if you like this video, go ahead and do that as well to help the channel grow. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.